All right, today we have plants, eating plants in the wild, what they can do for your body, uh, and also poisonous plants. Now, let's talk about that. Uh, plant food values. What? Never mind, just keep going. I don't see the problem there. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, plant... It's not a joke. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. Shut up. Food values plant-wise. Uh, <coughs> it can help repair your tissues. Uh, it can help you grow, gives you vitamins. That's what I forgot to say last time. Give you vitamins. Uh, we all know those are good for you. It can uh, help re replenish your blood cells, replenish tissues, if I didn't already say that. I think I did. But uh, it also helps to fight off diseases. Uh, not if you eat a poisonous plant, obviously. So, uh, fortunately, we are omnivores, so we can eat meat and plants. So, uh, that's an easier way we can get vitamins and get the nutritious values that they have. Uh, uh, actually, you know... I totally lost my train of thought again. Okay, so then, so no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So another plus to um. Sorry. Another plus to uh, getting edible plants is that you don't use as much calories as you do um hunting animals and stuff. You can just pick them off basically, like berries and stuff. And obviously berries are good. Another way of testing it is that uh. Uh, it says on the SA Survival Book, which we'll put a link. Oh, sorry. We'll put a link right here. So you can uh, check that out. It's an awesome app, awesome book. But um, in many books, it talks about how um, to test edible plants and stuff. Well, first, you um, basically just uh, you bite into the plant, the leaf of the plant, or like any part of the plant, and rub it on the like soft spot spot your elbow and your your elbow gets any reaction at all don't eat it and then later if that doesn't happen in 15 minutes then put it under your tongue for um, another 30 minutes and if it does no reaction really then um, go to swallowing a little bit of it and if nothing happens but nothing bad happens then it's um, usually edible but if there's any milky sap do not eat it wow well, uh, I'm gonna contradict you what you said mm -hmm. No offense, but I would not rub it in the area he said because there are major veins there and arteries well, that's what that can well, mess you up. You bite a little bit of it and just rub a little bit out of it. I wouldn't. I still wouldn't do that. I, if you were going to do it anywhere, I'd probably do it like here. Okay. Then do it right here, guys. Just because they're not, it's just not as major. Yeah. And uh, I would cut into it. I wouldn't bite into it. Because, yeah. just saying, it could poison yeah. your mouth. Just saying. Uh, what's next? Oh, crap, my iPod block. Poop on you. Alright. Uh, gathering plants. Well, it's not that hard to gather things like that because, you know, they're light, they're easy to grab, but also depending on what you're grabbing. Exactly. Uh, I mean, if it's big leaves and stuff like that, or a whole bunch of aloe or something, yeah, you. Yeah, it's not gonna be as easy as other things like say just like a whole bunch of berries. You can put it in like in a like fold up your shirt and put a whole bunch of berries in there after you, you've tested them. Well, I guess you could test them at your camp, just you know, yeah. right there and then you can make sure that uh, they're not milky or yeah. no, no milky sap is coming That's out. That's another one. Oh, excuse thing. me. Yes. If they're bright colors. If they're bright color. Sorry, oh, I hate this thing. It's like opposite but if they're bright colors or if it has milky sap um usually it's poisonous yeah uh, that goes with everything but don't don't want to eat that if that if poisonous. it's like it's like a bug if the bug is uh brightly colored or if it's, te it's telling you don't eat me or if it smells really bad <coughs> if you break into it and it smells really bad or yeah unless it's like um sand beetle 
Uh, terrible but bearable. Also, when you're gathering plants and stuff like that, you will usually want a darker green stem because uh, the lighter stem, the lighter the stem, the younger the plant is, which means it's not as nutritious, as nutritious, not as ripe, and stuff like Unless, that. Well, for some, um, for most plants, but some plants are the opposite. Like coconuts, if you wait it too long, you can't get the milk out of it. Um, you can only get the flesh. Oh yes. Now. Alec, it's your turn to talk about identifying plants. Identifying plant plants. We just did that. Like, um, okay, so if it's brightly colored or milky sappy nut, eat it. Um, usually if it's a, in not a lot of plants are poisonous in um like North America region. Not a lot of plants. Um, jungle plants are a lot of times uh, poisonous. Um. One thing, don't just like be eating stuff, obviously, because you can really get sick. Yeah, and you don't want to like sort of OD on that kind of stuff. You can you can really get a stomach ache, and you can yeah. For um, you know. this one plant, this like clover base plant, um, if you can eat some of it, it'll give you uh like good vitamins and stuff. But if you eat too much of it, it'll make you sick. So just graze on a little bit and then. Going. Yeah. Uh, roots, leaves, and stems. Well, roots, there is a thing called white root. You can eat that. It is very nutritious and it gives you water. It hydrates you. Uh, leaves, you, uh, for aloe, you rub the leaf on. Aloe. What? Aloe. I don't know what aloe is. Aloe is a, is like a healing sort of. Oh, plant. Yeah, and you rub it on uh, the either the in infected area or <laughs> the cut. Uh, it uh, puts a nice sap over it. It uh, seals up the cut. And it also makes it not bleed as much. Like, it's not well, uh, the sealing makes it so the blood can well, it, clog up the yeah. cut, so it does stop bleeding. Well, like um, there's this one plant that if you get stabbed by it. And you pull it out, it'll make you bleed a lot because of some like poison. But if you put the the stuff, if you like scrape off that the spikes and then put the stuff on um, the sap on your cut that you just made, um, it'll see like it'll make the blood clot. I believe I believe it's called Devil's Tree. Probably. But yes, it's very spiky. The, the spikes are huge, and if you do get pricked, it's very poisonous yeah. and it'll make you bleed a lot. Yeah. Um, if you just as you were saying, just scrape off all those, and under that sort of bark, it uh, there is a residue that you just rub. You cut like a piece off of it, and you rub it on there, and you should be fine. But uh, stems, uh, you can also actually those are I believe are edible depending on the plant. It uh, it doesn't really benefit you that much. It uh, uh, I believe it just gives you a little bit of calories and a little bit of uh, sugar because photosynthesis. Yeah. Doesn't really give you that much, but it, it will work if you really need it. Um, so that's pretty much basics on roots, leaves, and stems. Next, roots and tubers. I don't know what tuber is. Let's just go fruit. Oh, wait a second. Roots are the sun? No. Let's go tubers. tubers. What? We're looking at the app. It's awesome. <laughs> yes. Tubers, what the heck? I don't know. Let's just get that. Let's go to fruit. Because we just did roots. Okay. Okay. So fruit. Um, another, also, as we replied before, milky sap, bad. If you cut into the, the right. fruit, it's, uh, if it, it has milky sap, just don't eat it. Um, also, um, a lot of fruit plants, you can get a lot of uh, water from them if you come to the uh, like center of it. Um, um, also, for <coughs> healthy roots. The roots will give you moisture. If it's red, be kind of cautious unless you know exactly what it is because uh, there's some poisonous berries out there. Um, if it's black, like blackberries and stuff, it usually isn't that poisonous most of the time, but just make sure. Make sure you know what you're eating. Because um, if you just pop a bunch of fruits in your mouth and hope for the best, it's not going to work. That is, it might not work for you. Also, I'm just going to go to nuts. So, we get that out of the way because it's kind of like a fruit. 
Is it worth it? No. Yeah, it is. Um, nuts. Uh, I know pistachios need to be boiled or else they're poisonous. Um, there's another one like walnuts or something. I'm not sure. It was a different one. And um, pines. Pi pines. Well, they don't have to be boiled. Yeah. You can rip uh, in the pines. If you boil them, it actually flavors the water and gives you uh, vitamin D, I believe. Is it like tea? Yeah, it's sort of like a tea. That's what they're real said. Walnuts, yes. Yeah, walnuts are and walnuts and pecans, right? Butternuts. Butternuts you have to boil. Pecans, pecans I yeah. it. Hazels. Hazels, I did not know that. I know um, Sweet, no. I know apple um co apple acorns or whatever they're called um they don't have to be boiled. Usually um a lot of acorns don't usually have to be um boiled. They you can just like eat them plain, but if you're in the um. If you're in like tropics, you 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 should boil it. All right, poisonous plants. Uh, one is called a poison sumac. It uh, it. I'm sure it causes some kind of an, uh rash or something. Uh, poison oak does cause rashes and irritation of the skin, so be mindful of that. Poison ivy does the same thing. I don't know which is the worst of the, of the three, but poison ivy, sucks. poison ivy is very common, much more common than the other two. I've it's never even I've it's never it's even here. seen poison well, sumac. Oh, I've heard of like uh, what's it called? Um, poison oak or something. Yeah. Yeah, we already talked about that. <laughs> Jewel weed. I've never seen that. Um, that one. Uh, is it the one that uh, fights poison ivy or? Oh, right. It's uh, it's often found near poison ivy with a pale yellow or orange spotted flower and seed pods that pop provides a juice that to ease irritation from the contact with these and other plants. So jewel weed uh, is poisonous, but uh, apparently if you pop uh, the seeds, it give releases a juice that will release or not release but stop the irritation and stop the aging. For, po for poison ivy, poison oak, and poison sumac. Uh, death carnus. Uh, it's not sound good. <laughs> no, there's a there's a skull sign by it, so that means it's de deadly. Oh, really? Yes. Uh -huh. de it says deadly. Do not confuse with wild onions or lilies. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it does. It probably causes death. Uh, another one, thorn apple or crimson, crimson weed. All parts are deadly and poisonous. Uh, sickly smelling. So as Alec was saying, it smells bad. Um, box gloves. Uh, all parts are highly toxic, affecting the heart. Well, this does not sound good. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Monk's hood. Oh my god, I could like totally miss those guys. Like blueberries or something. It looks like blue. It's like kind of like blueberries. Kinda. There's no berries on it, buddy. Well, it kind of looks like blueberries, but the flowers kind of look like blueberries. Yeah, I don't know. The most common kinds that have purplish blue flowers, very poisonous. Uh, hemlock. Bad smelling, very poisonous. <coughs> <coughs> Water hemlocks or cow banes. Uh, one mouthful can kill. I wish we could show them the picture because these pictures, um, a lot of them have this uh, fluffy, like this white looking kind of like flowers, like little little flowers on them. Like a lot of them do, and they're really poisonous. And um, a couple of them do. And uh, uh, these uh, water hemlocks are often found by water because they're water hemlocks, not regular hemlocks. But uh, they uh, s smell unpleasant. Not as they don't smell as bad as the regular hemlock, but one mouthful can kill, so they're more deathly, uh, deadly. Yes. Um, uh, bane berries. Some. Berries. Uh, all parts can cause dizziness, vomiting, and severe internal irritation. Oh, that'd be terrible. Okay, at least we don't die. <laughs> Deadly nightshade. Uh, okay, you don't need to keep saying that, no, buddy. No, it doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound good. 
All parts, especially berries, are very poisonous. I'm sorry we're not giving you that much information on these, but... Yeah, I wish we could show you the pictures, but... Um, yeah, it doesn't really show up very yeah, well. just show them really quick, so they'll tell them right like crappy. Yeah, it's not... Yeah. Oh! Oh! Barely. Barely. That's, that one is the deadly nightshade. That's it. But... For that much. Uh, buttercups. Uh, are these poisonous? I don't think so. Yes, they are. Buttercups. Uh, avoid all... They cause severe inflammation and in intestinal tract. Oh, they cause severe inflammation of the intestinal tract. Right. Um, lupins. Any part can cause fatal inflammation of stomach and intestines. Uh, vetches or lo loco weeds. They don't even have a picture here. Some are poisonous. Avoid all. Uh, false halborians, don't know, can be lethal, henbane, uh, unpleasant smell, deadly poisonous, um, poisonous berries, is that a new thing? No, no it's not. Poisonous trees, I've actually never heard of poisonous trees, okay. Oh, um, uh, poisonous berries. Uh, Canadian mood, uh, moon seed uh, doesn't really say what happens. Nightshades, uh, if any doubt, assume to be poisonous and avoid. Virginia creeper, I've heard of that. No other plant with edible blueberries is vine-like and with trendles. Tendrils. So, very poisonous. Buckthorns uh, can be violently purgative. What does that mean? I don't fucking know. Purgative. Yeah. See, trees. So Alright, your turn. Trees? trees. Oh, that took forever. Poisonous okay. trees. Okay, um, I'm not really sure about poisonous trees, but I guess uh, use our strangling ever trees shrub with spiky bark, dark green needles, and red bearing fruits. The fruits are particularly poisonous, as I said before, red um fruits. Red fruit is sometimes poisonous, so be careful about that. Um cedars originally from the Mediterranean and Himalaya, so if you're in our area you wouldn't be that worried about them, but if you're in the Mediterranean Sea around that or the Himalayas the true the true cedars are large um, spreading scented evergreens with erect cones. Definitely, I don't know. Um, horse chestnut and buckeyes are tall with hand-shaped leaves, um, sticky buds and white, pink, or yellow flowers. Do not confuse their poisonousness. Do not confuse their poisonous. Spiky case nuts with those of sweet chestnuts which has narrow tooth leaves and which has more densely crippled seed pieces. Yeah. Talk. Um, Luburnums? Luburnums. 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 Okay. Are small, broad leaf trees with three part leaves and long sprays of yellow of flowers. Um, then it goes to like black locust, a North American tree with dark gray bark, oval leaves, impossible pears clustered of with um, um, flowers and being like seasons. The California lauren, mouse wood, and hickories. So hickories, I've heard about hickories before. They're they have divided, po often palm shaped leaves. Cat, cat, yeah. Catkins and usually round nuts. The nuts are some kind are the nuts of some kinds are edible. You as the are the sap and roots, but do not eat unless the species is positively identified. I, I don't know anything about that one, so yeah, we're both pretty clueless on this stuff. 
Uh, yeah, we need to learn more about plants yeah. and trees and all this fun stuff. Uh, yes. Fun guy. Edible fun guy. How about fun guy? Uh, tree fun guy. Tree fungi grow off the ground on the sides of trees and stumps. They are often large and leathery, but are not harmful and are rare, fairly common. <coughs> okay. Um, I'll go with the beefsteak fungus. Um. Uh, is often found on oaks. It, it is a. No, it's not. God. This is this is not. This is edible. Edible fungi. Oh, there we go. Is often found on oaks. It is a red. It is reddish above, pinkish below, and rough textured, resembling a large tongue. Its red flesh exudes a blood-colored juice. Tough and bitter, young specimens are better so are better soak to often to soften, then stew thoroughly occurs in autumn. Mm. <coughs> Polyporous sulphurous, uh, a bright orange yellow fading to yellowish tan with spongy yellowish flesh. On broad-leaved, especially oak and evergreen, evergreen trees uh, from summer on. Polyporous squamosis, squamosis grows uh, often in clumps. Its or orchery cap flecked with dark scales to resemble cork and a whitish underside. On broad-leaved trees, especially elm, beech, and sycamore, from spring to autumn, uh, choose young ones and stew them thoroughly. Oyster fungus grows in clumps with a deep blue-gray shell-shaped caps, wide white gills, and white rubbery flesh on broad-leaved trees for most of the year. Tasty slice and stew also dries well. Honey or bootlace fungus has tiny yellowish brown flecked caps uh, 3 to 15 centimeters across. White gills later speckled with brown white flesh and bootlace like roots on Broad-leaved and coniferous trees and stumps from spring to autumn. Slice and stew. Ground fungi. Yeah, you don't want to know the plants. Yeah, in the plants, guys. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Giant, <coughs> giant puffball resembles a football across smooth white and leathery. Yellowing with age and may weigh up to 9 kilograms in woods and grassy places from late summer to autumn. Choose young ones with spongy, pure white flesh, very tasty, simmer to or fry. Chanterelle is apricot scented, a yellow fennel shape uh, with pronounced forking gills. It grows in groups under trees, especially beech. Uh, Beach. Maybe that's supposed to be birch. I'm not sure. Where? And it grows in groups under trees, especially beech. I think that's supposed to be birch. That's your song. From summer on, very tasty stew for ten minutes. Do not confuse with quarantineras. Something. Ah, uh, it's a big word. Okay. Uh, horn of plenty is horn or funnel shaped with a rough, crinkly, dark brown cap, and a smooth, tempering gray stem. Is in broad-leaved woods, especially beech, in autumn. Stew well or dry. Uh, okay, warning. 
fungi and make excellent eating, but first must be positively identified as an edible kind. Mm. Oh, here we go, okay. Mm. This is pretty good, though. Alright, uh, this is your turn. My turn? Oh, I was gonna go for the little bit of this, but... I think we, we only need to do this. I mean, this video is already almost a half an hour long. Right. That's pretty good. Okay, uh, so what is this? Uh, poison plant. Okay. Um, Agurricus fungi. Avoid any that string yellow when cut. Some young buttons are hard to tell apart and can be confused with the deadly Amenitus. <laughs> See, I want a book like this right now. That's awesome. I, yeah. Um, guys, there's one thing I learned. If it has, uh, scales, like, you know the original mushroom? Um, these are three things to look for I've, uh, learned and saw in other videos. Um, I mean, not, not other videos on other books. Is that... It has a cap. You ate my cream cheese one time. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, that might. I thought you said there's two. It's upstairs. Oh, I'm getting those. Okay. And, um, if they have scales and a cap, avoid them. Okay, so. Let's see. I'm all rolling. Okay. So, if they have, uh, cap or and gills. I don't think you can see this, but focus. Oh, it's not going to. Okay. Oh, wait, did. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, several. Yeah, I don't even know I said that. <laughs> okay, so if it has a cap or gills or this, um, it's kind of hard to explain that little, like, uh, how it goes, like, the stem. In the middle of it, there's kind of like this uh, flailing out part. Avoid those types, and they're all like that. So, every single one has a cap, has gills, and has, um, and it has a uh, stem. So, it okay. says right here that the main things to look for in poisonous plants is to look for. The um the cap, um the scales, and the uh, gill or not the scales the gills and then the what is the center of the thing or in the stem like the original cap. Um, so yeah, mm -hmm. they're pretty fucking deadly. Oh my god. The SAS survival guide is <laughs> a big book. It takes a long time to read, but it's, worth it's it. really descriptive, but it is worth it. Yeah, he, this, uh, Lofty Wiseman was the main person. Yes, John Lofty Wiseman. Yep. He is actually one of my idols. <laughs> my idols. He's an amazing survivor. Yeah, actually, we talked about him in the previous videos. We're not going to talk about him right now. No. But hopefully, you guys got a good amount of knowledge in this video. We, all we did too, but. Uh, you know, just hope you guys check this book out. It's an amazing book. Again, the link right there. Or mm. ha, it's backwards, so we're like kind of confused on where this. What the heck? What are you saying? Are you gonna just cover my face up I with know, the zig? I'm like trying to move it. <laughs> right there. Right. Oh, dang it! I hate this. Right there. Okay. Bye.